Good morning, Saxons. I'm Brian Schlegel. And I'm Evan Dunn. Welcome back to the Saxon Broadcast. Today is Wednesday, April 26th. Did you know that April is National Poetry Month as well as Autism Awareness Month? I actually did know that. Did you know that April is also School Library Month? And this week is National Library Week. Lots to celebrate in April. I'm excited. Thanks to our Lindley librarians, Mr. Clark and Ms. Ortiz, for National Independent Bookstore Day this Saturday. Support your local independent bookstores like Bard's Alley in Vienna. Attention freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, elections for class office executive board, SGA executive board, and student advisory committee for the 2023 to 2024 school year will be held this week. All voting will occur through your class Schoology page. Click on the Google form in your class page to vote. Voting ends Friday, April 28th at 3 p.m. Did you know a Langley junior who's dedicated to service is amazing? Reflecting Langley High School's emphasis on service, the PTSA will award students in their junior year who have demonstrated service achievement and an ongoing commitment to volunteerism. Go to the Langley PTSA website to nominate a junior today. The deadline is Friday. Congratulations to Langley debaters Connor Chun, Michaela Frey, and Vishwa Rakasi, who all brought home medals for their performance at the VHSL State Debate Championships on Saturday at JMU. Connor and Michaela, both freshmen, finished third in public form, and Vishwa Rakasi, a sophomore who finished in fourth in Lincoln Douglas. It has been an outstanding season for them all. Congratulations. Now over to our reporters to shed a little light on Langley Science Olympiad and the people behind it. Welcome back, Saxons. Have you heard about our Science Olympiad team? You probably haven't heard enough. Therefore, we decided to put them in the spotlight today. Actually, Science Olympiad only came to Virginia in about 2002, maybe 2001, and that's when I started coaching the team here, and I started the team here. And I've been the only coach ever since, although now Mr. Torres helps me too. You know, that number is so large, I just, I wouldn't even know where to start adding them up. You know, behind me is just a sampling of what we won. So Science Olympiad is a STEM-based extracurricular where three teams of 15 students each compete in about 23 to 25 events ranging from biology to chemistry to physics to also some hands-on builds. So um, it's a great way for students to get involved in a wide variety of fields in STEM that they're interested in. 45 kids on the team, which we split into three teams that compete separately and they all represent our school overall. And then the other four kids are alternates that sometimes you know, are part of the invitationals, like the college invitationals that he mentioned and stuff like that. I think any student that really has a passion for STEM, whether it be, you know, building a hands-on vehicle or, you know, studying textbooks or even doing a chemistry lab, honestly, any level of interest in STEM, Science Olympiad is a great incubator to sort of foster that interest and let it grow. So, any student who has an interest in STEM. Thanks for watching. I hope this was a great learning experience and a big thank you to the people we interviewed. Thanks to our reporters and everyone interviewed. Now it's time for... Today's senior birthdays are Aaron Adams and Haley Smith. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Follow us on Instagram at Saxon Broadcast and our TikTok at Saxon underscore Broadcast. If you'd like to submit an announcement to be aired on the Saxon Broadcast, use the link in the description to fill out a form. If you have a question you'd like to ask Principal Greer for an upcoming interview, email Brian, Schlegel, or Ms. Gabbro. Now that's all for today. Have a great, great day, day Saxons. Saxons.